Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Ludomania. I'm Mike the Ludomaniac, uh, here to demonstrate Kung Fu by Irem on the NES. Originally an arcade game uh, known as Kung Fu Master, their NES port uh, dropped the Master and remained pretty faithful. And in fact, I actually prefer the NES one because it's a bit easier than the arcade game, which is uh, really rough and I can barely get past the first level. But the difficulty here seems to be better regulated. Now, a little back history on this game for those who may not know. It is technically a licensed title based on the Jackie Chan film also starring Sammo Hyung and Yuen Biao, if I'm pronouncing those names right, uh, Wheels on Meals, which in Japan was known as Spartan X. This game's Japanese name is Spartan X, and was intended as a very uh, loose homage to it. Although the five-floor structure of kicking your way through dudes and going up a tower is a lot more akin to Bruce Lee's film Game of Death, or uh, at least the original intent in the film, not the last 20 minutes after a lot of uh, stupid stuff happens. Anyway, Kung Fu is as simple a game as you can get. Walk to the left, and punch dudes as they come close to you. Or kick them. Although you don't get as many points for kicking, kicking is easier to hit with because the range is longer. Most of the dudes you deal with are these uh, purple vest guys who, if they get close, will grab you and slowly, slowly leech out your life. But occasionally you come across these blue dudes who stay at a distance and toss knives, and this is a boss who's trying to beat me with a stick. Best way to take on him is to play footsie and just keep pulling off sweeps. It's the uh, only attack that comes close to matching his range. And already we are through with the first level. Now let's say there, uh, this game is as basic and simple as you can get. It's a very fine popcorn game to just uh, put in the microwave and then off we go. <laughs> But as you can see, I'm getting hit by balls falling from the ceiling. These pots that shatter on the ground generate snakes, and those colorful balls uh, bring us dragons. And then... Oh, stupid, stupid. Uh, I thought those were going to be dragons, mostly. So jump over the snakes when they appear, avoid the dragon balls, duck when they fire, or you can punch them for 2,000 points if you're so inclined. And then there are these floating balls, which explode into three pieces. But if you kick those out of the air first, you get a thousand points for it. I'm not sure if you can hit the snakes, but I'm not going to risk it. After all that nonsense, uh, we're back to fighting regular enemies. And occasionally you come across these green little guys who are either kids or dwarves. Honestly, I can't tell. And the second boss tosses boomerangs, is very easily beaten, and is a lazy reappropriation of the knife thrower sprite. And that would be stage two clear. I'm pretty sure stage three is just basically the same as stage one. This isn't exactly a cerebral game, and um Oh, but you do get this little cutscene of the villain gloating, even though apparently you, Thomas, and Sylvia are in the same room right then and there, so... I don't know, maybe it's just a bad dream or whatever. Anyway, this is one of the earliest NES games I can think of to have used digitized speech. At least I'm pretty sure it's digitized speech, unless it's some sort of clever uh, sound mechanic I'm not familiar with. We can hear Thomas going, oh, whenever he punches or kicks. Nope. Oh, oh so you cheap jerk. Watch out for the knife, guys. They can throw knives pretty quickly if you're not careful. If you're trying to get to them uh, closer, and you don't want to... Oops! I jumped right into the Stage 3 boss, stupidly enough. But I took him out by spamming foot sweeps, and he couldn't even hit me. So, there we go. We are already more than halfway through the game, technically speaking. If you play games to get to their definitive end, but this one does keep looping over, I believe, until you run out of lives. Oh yeah, Floor 4 introduces these rather evil-looking moths 
who you have to be careful to avoid and hit when possible. And jump. You also have to press up to jump, because uh, A and B are already mapped to attacks. Wipe them out with a sweep there. Just keep running. And this boss, level 4 one, shoots projectiles that explode into mobs. If you hit him in the head, it flies off, but then it regenerates, weirdly enough, so you have to punch him in the gut to win. Arguably, though, that's the hardest boss in the game. The last boss, Mr. X, may be a little bit easier. But we'll see. I'm having pretty good luck this run. Except for the second stage, that was just me being stupid. And the final floor we have. Once again, pretty much the same as floors 1 and 3. Except the enemy, uh... The enemy volume seems to be a little worse than prior. I'm mostly going to stick to my kicks, because I don't want to risk anything. I have enough points. I'm playing to beat this, not to get a high score. A very useless... Oh! You have to watch out, though. Uh, the little guys will occasionally do an acrobat jump up into your head. As that one did, and... Uh oh Oh, wow, this is bad. However, will Thomas get out of this one? Well, he might not. Oh, you little jerk. Alright. Well, we have two more two more chances to do this, uh, unless we lose and then start over, but... I think we can do it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to stick entirely to kicks here. Less points, but more safe. If you try to run from knife guys who come behind you, then they'll keep running to catch up. So be aware. That's good. Ah, they run away when you get to the boss. Most of them do anyway. And here is Mr. X, who basically fights like you do. I'm just going to keep spamming low kicks. And the loser just kept stepping into my sweep. So, uh, yeah, there we have it. And, uh, the lovers are fantastically reunited. How very, uh, how very unfortunate, though. <laughs> uh, well, that's a message for you. Hey, you got the girl, but she gets captured again. And somehow we get sent back to the first floor. The, the uh, dragon head to the right of the how many lives you have left head indicates uh, how many times you've beaten the game in a single run. Well, since that was incredibly short, uh, technically that's all to see with Kung Fu. But... You can keep playing it for as long as you're able to not die. So, I guess we'll keep doing that for the time being. Unless I wanted to start releasing mini sodes of the sort. Well, maybe. Uh, some games, uh, you can't really think of 20 minutes of filler to talk about with them. And I think this might be one of them. Actually, uh... I don't have the clock with me that shows how long I've been recording, because it's currently buried in other menus, so... Who knows, this might at least reach 20 minutes, but it might not reach 30. Oh, snakes. Confetti... Oh, you jumped right into it, you moron! There's dragon... No punch there. Hmm... <laughs> Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. I forgot to note, if you lose to a boss, the game laughs at you. <laughs> That's... not very nice at all. The level 3 boss has an especially deep and sinister laugh. And I think the one for the level 4 boss is higher pitched. Oops. Hmm. 
but, uh, honestly, I've already run out of stuff to talk about with Kung Fu. I've shown you pretty much everything that can be seen in the game. So I'll s all that's left to do now is lose or just cut the stream. Well, let's see if I can get to the level 3 boss so you can hear his incredibly sinister laugh. I'm sorry, I am totally out of fuel. This is a, a lot shorter and uh, less content-filled than I remember. But someday I might play the arcade version just to see how much more aggravating it is. Alrighty. Let's see what happens here. Noticeably lower pitch. And... Uh, yeah, that went pretty well. I beat the game one and a half times. There's also Game B, but I don't think there's any great variance in it. It's just uh, more difficult than Game A is all. Like here, I seem to be getting assaulted by more grapplers. But... Honestly, I have nothing else to share, so, you know, better... I, I still feel bad about letting that Vegas Dream play run out way too long, so I'm just gonna cut it now and no regrets. This has been a shorter-than-normal examination of Ludomania, of Kung Fu. This is Mike. Thank you for tuning in for this short snack, and I lose. <laughs>